Say what you need to say. Be real. Oh, I'm about to be real. Oh, she's fucking, dude. Sarah's here and she's fucking pissed. I am pissed. I need to say well, we're gonna have to do a mukbang, so you need to get in a better mood. You can't mukbang angry. That's the craziest. I'm about to angry mukbang. <laughs> <laughs> I'm at a ten. I need a second. Can I hit your vape? Yeah. Yes. Just let me come back to my body. <laughs> come here. No. Stop saying. Let me come back to my body. I'm right now, I'm here. Oh, ground yourself and I'm and realize. To. That, this is not an issue. It won't be an issue for you. This is not a thing to get all stirred up about. Honey, I am stirred up about well, it. Well, if you My mom said the same thing. What? She said he's just an evil hater. Yeah, he's just a fucking hater. <laughs> Unhinged. She's on one. I need lipstick. I look kind of terminal. Whoa. I'm unhinged. Yeah, I know. I'm You're scaring me. Call him right now. You should call him on the pod and fucking confront him. No, because he's going to be so crazy. So? Be like, that's fucking rude. Tell him. You should. Welcome to This Bitch with Sarah Weinshank and Kim Congdon. <laughs> I'm fine. Happy Black History Month! <laughs> we haven't started yet. We've started no, when we you walked in here, sweetie. We're not. So, we're not including that. Why? It was so good. We could take the name out, unless you want to call him out. You're gonna talk shit about me. You're gonna pay the consequences. Oh, let's start fuck. this fucking podcast. Oh, what's I'm up, everybody? I'm not a little pushover. <clears throat> What's up, everybody? Welcome to another episode of This Bitch Podcast. Bzz, bzz, bzz. We're, we're live from we're the Comedy nice. Store Studios. I'm Kim Congdon. And I'm Sarah Weinshank. Shank's on one today. Yeah, because one day you think that someone's your friend, you do their comedy show. The next, they're talking shit about you on the internet, telling you you don't deserve spots. I got mentioned in that. Yeah, you know who you are, motherfucker. I don't even want to give him the satisfaction of saying his name because he doesn't even deserve the follows. He could use them, but he's not going to get them. Oh. <laughs> oh, I like this, I just Sarah. did his fucking... I'm I, into he just this! He asked me to do his show. I did his show happily. It was my fifth I set of say, the night. I will say this. It is very fake to ask you to do your show and then be like, yeah, you can come on first, whatever. And then he posted your picture about yes. doing his show. So he promoted you. And then for him to say that you're not funny. Yeah, it's like... It's fake. It's fake. It's fake. And it's like, but yeah, that's fine. There's lots of people that think that I'm not funny, but like, I thought we were like friendly. Yeah. Like but he's come up to me and been like, great set. Oh, he's been so nice to me, but he already, I already have an apology from him on my Facebook from the last thing he fucking did what years was ago. That? I don't remember. <sighs> people be out here acting up. So... Well, good thing I have my Red Bull for this mukbang. So, uh, yeah, happy uh, happy Black History Month, Sarah. Yeah, happy Black History Month is right. I thought that, is it still Black History Month? Is it? Yeah, it's, uh, it's a leap year. No, this is going to come out. Is this out. the last day? This yeah. is the last day of... Okay. Of when, when this comes out, it is no longer Black History but Month. But it is today. And you know what? We're using the last day. We're recording, just so you guys know, on the last extra day of Black History Month. This is so special. Yes, it is. It's This only happens once every four years. You oh, get the this, 29th? Yeah, of February, yeah. Yeah, leap year, woo! <laughs> <laughs> woo, leap year, we got an extra day! That doesn't even make sense. Oh. Leap year doesn't even make sense. <laughs> Sarah versus... What? She unplugged her mic, she's going so crazy. Okay. Fuck leap year. How do you have Black History Month? Yeah, but a Black History Month leap year day is fun. It's particularly fun. Is that true? Yeah. Are you just trying to get me excited to be alive? Because <laughs> yeah. I'm having a minute. No, I'm, I'm... no. This is a spe very special day, and that's why we're doing um, the first ever This Bitch muk Mukbang. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> have you seen the bang? <laughs> have you seen the videos of the two guys that did mukbangs and they got really fat together over the years? Nico Avocado, fat throughout the years. Can you Google Nico Avocado? Nico? Nico, Nico Avocado fat throughout the years. And just get him some seem images. like a fucking real name. Oh, yeah. Him and his friend did mukbangs. They started as a podcast. Oh, I think it was his boyfriend. Were they dating? Maybe it was like a gay love thing. A gay love mukbang? Yeah. Sounds dirty. Daddy and Dada. Look, that's okay. So that's how he started. See in the middle with the white shirt. This is sad. Oh, my God. That's how he started when he started doing the mukbangs. No, no. Now look at it. Yeah, and then this is him now. Let me tell you this. Don't. This is a rare thing. We're not going to be mukbanging <laughs> ever. We can't get like that. Maybe if I got that fat, people would stop talking shit about my comedy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They'd be like, oh, she deserves to be here. She's a pig like me. <gasps> <laughs> wow, I fucking love this, dude. You're going off. I'll today. roast. Miko Kato is catching some strays right now. Yeah, dude. What did Miko Avocado? He was too slow to move past the shank bullets. <laughs> Dang. So, um, I thought the perfect first mukbang, um, for us is uh, I actually got inspired by this YouTube video I watch. Um, God, what's the fucking guy's name? The dude with the red bandana, Sonny. Of course, Sonny. The, the travel guy. He wears a red bandana and he goes to like a bunch of like Asian countries. And he, Is it Asian food? Yeah. Uh, no. He goes to a bunch of different places and he gets food and eats it on YouTube. Red bandana. What's his name? With the best food review ever. I don't fucking. Uh, this guy? This guy. He's pretty hot. He's cool as fuck, too. He follows me, so he might see this. What up, Sonny? Sonny? That's his name, Sonny, yeah. And he does these videos, and he eats his foods, and I, this is one food I'd never tried before. Can we, oh, you know, let's see if the guy's here. Oh, shit. What? I don't know where, oh, maybe I wasn't getting a call. <laughs> I told him to call me, but I'm thinking we're in a basement. Xavier, can you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Let me check if it's here. I ordered a bunch of food, and it's something I never tried before. And I don't I'm know if scared. you've ever tried. I already can tell. Whatever I'm a little it is. nervous too. It's not not a food I would. Uh, Hi. Um, Let me tell you. I this. answered in the the drive. The food driver sounded like he was in a tornado. There he was did. like a cow. He was like, "I'm here." And it was like things <laughs> going around him. He's like, "Oh, where are you? Oh, okay." Move. <laughs> so this guy, I saw him once try Ethiopian food. Yeah. Have you ever tried Ethiopian? No, food? I didn't even think they ate in Ethiopia. I. That's the bit. <laughs> that's the racist bit. <laughs> is it racist or is it true? I, I think some parts probably. <laughs> Not like you can I say can't the same imagine. about Skid Row food. <laughs> yeah, same about, same about Skid Row food. Um, but yeah, Ethiopian food. I got a big course. We're gonna go through. We're gonna bring it in. McKenna's got it. Ugh. Okay. I got a lot. For, from what I hear, there's no uh, there's no like utensils. Right? I brought some just in case. You eat with your hands. Oh, I'm already out. Yeah, I know. It, it's already fucking. But you have to respect, I'm in a dress. You have to respect the culture because it's Black History Month. Okay, well, I'll do it. If you say. don't do it, you're racist, and our podcast will get canceled. Did you see that we went viral? Yeah, yeah. You know what? That that page, or like a lot of the those uh, those Bobby Lee pages. That, yeah, that we our clips do good. Over. Yeah, I know. I saw our clip had the most views out of all of the clips on that yeah. page. What is with the? Well, it's probably it's gonna it stayed warm. That's for sure. Ugh. I mean, they wrapped it like they're afraid of it getting COVID. Well, I like that. <laughs> Let's see. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. She won't even let me touch it. Wait, She's I gotta being set very it. controlling with the with the mukbang. I'll tell up. you that. <laughs> Don't even put your grubby hands on the styrofoam. Not on the bang. <laughs> Maybe we should have laid out something on this, but whatever. Oh, Let's... not Ethiopian food on the fresh okay, fucking. So I don't really know what we have. Let me look at the the order. Thank you. One thing about Mama, she's gonna black out and order everything. <laughs> I did black for, out for the gang bang, <laughs> milk bang. Sorry, this is coming out of the, this bitch account. <laughs> what is it at this point, <laughs> sweetie? <laughs> Thank you. Gonna... I can't leave the house without spending forty five dollars on this bitch. I know. <laughs> so it is so true. Watch our pod. <laughs> share with a friend. We're coming out of pocket with this one. Honey. Subscribe to the Patreon. <laughs> okay, Z hold on. I'm. 
you know, it's the fucking service. I don't know what anything is. Well, let's just fucking go for it. Do we need to know what it is? It or would can be we nice. just eat like mystery foods and be like, ooh, what is this? And then try to guess. Okay, okay, wait, I'll try and remember. What? No. <laughs> Kim, no. Can, can you kind of hold that up a little bit? Please don't hold that up. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, that looks like... It smells really good. Take Can a whiff. Look, no, take a whiff. It looks like mold. Like Can something you that you whiff? would find in a Have shack. some respect for the order. What is it? Well, you're not giving it to me. You're Can just you teasing it? it and dangling my face like I'm a dog. Smell it. It smells good. It does, it does smell, smell good. good. <laughs> it smells good I'll as tell well. you, it smells pizza adjacent. Oh, Ingeria, Ingeria bread. Ethiopian flatbread. Okay. So this is a flatbread. I think this is what you, uh, you, uh, it just, I, <laughs> the way that it falls apart. I think this is what you dip into the meal. Okay, let's see. Order again. So, oh yeah. So this is probably the vegetarian combo or the gourd gourd. Let's see. <laughs> Not the gourd gourd. <laughs> oh, this looks like the. Ooh. Oh, this oh, looks, that does not look good to me. I gotta be honest. This looks really good to me. It looks like afterbirth. <laughs> it okay now that you say that. <laughs> it does. I wasn't thinking afterbirth till Ooh, you said that. I don't want it. This is the Oswabs. Let's see what do we have in here. Oh, it all comes wrapped in this. It all comes wrapped in this like it's of the fucking so that's, present. Oh, that's beef tartare. <laughs> I don't know about this. Hold on, let's see. This one is... She's she's made it so if I don't eat it, delicious. I'm racist. So I, I think, have to eat it. I think that's Tib. What's this one? None of these... Open name. this one. They, they really should save some of this. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> it's literally in every meal. Okay, this is the... That is the uh, vegetarian meal. Okay, so, wait. <clears throat> so, hold on. All right, let's just try the damn bread. This is the... I don't know what this is, but let's try it. You try it first. Okay. I'm scared. <laughs> I'm actually kind of scared, and I'm pretty, like, open-minded with food, I feel like. <laughs> the ASMR people are going to love that. Oh, I can hear you slobbing on that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, say something. Hold on, hold on, Sarah. Can you try a bite, and then we'll both get the review? Because I don't want to like influence. Come on, Sarah. Get your grubby little hands in here. What? I don't even know. You didn't use a fork. Mm mm. Ugh, just oh, oh, but... my headphone cut out for a second. Okay. okay or I'll, something. I'll, I'll, uh... Now it's fine. Okay, I'll keep an eye on it. Oh, let me just get some afterbirth here. I don't think it's afterbirth. I think it's that's like... the beef tartare. I was going back and forth on whether I liked it or not. I kind of like it and I kind of don't. I wouldn't seek it. I wouldn't go out of my way to get this. I wouldn't seek it. <laughs> I wouldn't seek it either. That's a really good <laughs> right? review. I might not even go for a second bite. <laughs> That'll do, big. <laughs> uh, honey, I'm in rare form today, so Did you try up. this yellow stuff? Oh, I can't wait to get some of that. Try it. Whoa. It's got a kick to it. It's got a kick to it. I kind of like this. This this bread thing makes me feel like it, it's like a mold that's growing in a shower. I like it. It's a little tart. Uh, it, did, <laughs> it didn't smell as good the second time. No, the first time it's really like pizza. This might be an insulting mukbang. I'm trying to be polite. <laughs> it's okay. We don't have to like everything we eat. That's true. This is not bad. Again. Wouldn't seek it. <laughs> okay. The beef tartare, not a hit. Let's wrap it up. I don't even want to look at it. That's like sleeping with someone you don't like, and then you have to see them again, and you're oh, like, yeah. oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Put it back. Put it back. Okay. Unfollowed. Done. This is a vegetable samosa. Have you ever had one of these? Oh, so good. Yeah. Well, this looks like it has lentils in it. Mm-hmm. That's good. That's good. The lentils, the fried. 
Okay, mm. Ethiopia. Go off, Ethiopia. Ethiopia. <laughs> Ethiopia. Okay, so we found one. We found one. Ethiopia. This, this is the one. This is the one. Would seek. I don't know if I'd seek it. Oh, really? I'd seek this. I'd seek this. It's pretty good. Healthy lentils. A second bite. Hit. Hit. I'd seek this. Hey, I want a little lentil muffin. <laughs> a lentil muffin? If you ever agree a lentil muffin. A lentil empanada. And down a little Ethiopia. What is this? What this is, is vegetable samosa. I like a samosa. Okay. Mm -hmm. That was good. I don't want to see that. All right. That's the, we got to try this one. No, we already tried this one. No, didn't you take away the one we tried? She took it away. Uh, it's like they keep popping up. Yeah. And uh, see, I'm sick of this. This is this is extreme. This is like we could blanket the homeless. It's literally... <laughs> we should give this to homeless during the winter. They could cover themselves in it. It literally looks like human skin. Okay. Does it not? <laughs> okay. It's, this it's is... giving human skin, Kim. Look. <laughs> this is the vegetarian. It's in between our skin tone, look. It is. It's if me and you had a baby. This is our baby's skin. This is mama. <laughs> mama, mama. Rock by mama and mommy's baby. You want to hold our baby? Don't get jealous, Dave. Oh, yeah, for sure. That's our other son. <laughs> Sorry. Baby's hungry. <laughs> no, don't breastfeed it. Don't breastfeed the, what is it called? The lofta? What's that? <laughs> Don't breastfeed it. What is it called? I don't know. I just have it on my tit now. This is the vegetarian combo. Oh, it needs to he needs to be burped. Stop burping the food. <laughs> okay, this is the flatbread. This is injera injera. Injera. So stop breastfeeding the injera. So then I'm gonna take some of this. I'm gonna try. This looks like collard greens. <sighs> <clears throat> Let me try it before you comment. Okay. What'd you try? The green? The collard greens. The, ugh, I don't know why. It, I just sent a chill up my spine. <laughs> <laughs> this is the most funny thing ever. <laughs> okay, here we go. Taste. Healthy. I was just going to say healthy. <laughs> it tastes healthy. It's a very healthy taste. <laughs> <laughs> would not seek it. Would not seek. Would not seek. <laughs> the name of the episode is Would Not Seek, by the way. Okay, what's this in the middle? Oh. Mm. Ugh. This thing in the middle hits. I gotta chase my uh, collard greens with a sugar free Red Bull. Sister. The thing in the middle hits. What is it? Um, I don't know. I still don't have, ser <laughs> I still don't have service to see what I ordered. I wish I knew. Do we have Wi Fi here? Or can you give McKenna your phone and have her, like, take a screenshot of the oh, order? Oh, yeah. McKenna, can you maybe try and go upstairs and open my recent order so I can just... Yeah. Thank you. Try this middle thing. Oh. Try it. Okay. Try the middle thing. I know. I'm I'm a little, like... After I realized this was our child's flesh color, I'm a little, like, <laughs> uh, okay. Wait, there's this so, again? So is this thing this... looked like collard greens. What, what does this middle thing look like? It looked like green beans with carrots in it. Okay. Okay, I don't like that yellow one. This is one is that I curry. I like that. I like that. That's good. I don't know what it is. So far, the lentil samosa is my favorite. Mm hmm. Try this. Okay. Let me tell you. That's not going down that easy for mommy over here. Well, we're not going to be vacationing in Ethiopia. Perfect. Perfect. So, this. Oh, no. Vacation in Someone's Ethiopia. Calling me. Oh, fuck. It's okay. I okay. I tried the yellow thing. Okay. The yellow thing, I'm not sure what it is. It's curried something. It's something. <laughs> What's this? I'm going to give it a go. It looks like cabbage. Yeah. Curried cabbage. Yeah, I think we're done with this one. <laughs> <laughs> We've done everything we can do here. This one sucks, dude. I can't front. 
I put wish our, you put guys our son could, back in, <laughs> put our son in, back in the to-go box. <laughs> but take our falafel son. <laughs> No, he's not is, a falafel. He's something else. This is he's something else. He's a they. Put our son in. Let They're go. They're not ready to go. Let go. You want to be breastfed again? No, stop <laughs> breastfeeding the the Ethiopian food. Thank you. Yeah. Not stop breastfeeding the Ethiopian. Food. Okay, this one. Ugh, I'm getting sick of looking at this. There's always a new son to be birthed is the good news. <laughs> you should breastfeed like this one. Pie. Okay, this one. Well, I'm sorry. That, I don't know if I can this do. This one looks the best out of all of them. To you? Yeah. What is that? Can, can you I'm, describe it for me? I it looks like pepper steak and, uh, and green peppers with maybe shredded onion. Like maybe some sort of steak with onion. It looks. Oh, uh, you're gonna make me throw up! I almost just started gagging I just, watching you eat it. It doesn't. It doesn't even look good to me. <laughs> I just don't love the flavors. Okay. Okay. I don't like the spices. <laughs> I don't think I can. Do I need this you one. to try it. It's I honestly pod, think I'll throw up. Good. Well, who's going to wash this? <laughs> who's going to wash this? <laughs> if I throw up. If I vomit, who's going to wash this? We'll figure it out. <laughs> I don't want to bring home a vomit tablecloth in my new can, car. Can you please try this? No. Try it. Take a piece of our sun and dip it. <laughs> now I'm a cannibal. <laughs> dip our sun in the meat. Ugh. Yikes. This one looks gross to me, and I've been pretty open-minded. What is this? Uh-uh. That one was the worst one for me. Wrap it up. <laughs> Wrap it. McKenna? <laughs> McKenna, <laughs> we need you to take this and take it far. It does look good. Yeah, you can try them all, please. <laughs> Have at them. You can raise our son. You can raise our son. Look! More sun! Oh my god! They keep getting bigger, dude. They keep, they're like comically getting bigger. I like how they wrap. That looks like more of the same. I think this is the beef tartare. That's what you said before, bitch. I know. You keep promising me beef tartare, which sounds really fancy, but every time I look at what's happening, I go, really? I can't. It's all the same bad flavor. Thank you so much for this treat, Xavier. Let's talk about our sponsors for a moment. It's Smochi Melts. We're buttery, we're wet. We're the kind of girls you want to pet. We're mochi girls. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're mochi girls. Guys, this 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 lube is not like any other lube. This is sucking. Look at these. This is the lube baton of lube. It is beautiful. It is classy. The colors are sleek. They're um, discreet. What's, discreet. That's the word I was looking for. Discreet, sleek, high end. This is this is uh, this is lube with class. Decadent lube. Decadent lube. Luxurious lube. Luxuri luxurious lube. It tastes so good. Honestly, you could just this is my favorite. honestly put it on top. Oh, oh no, not the. Can I get a paper towel? Yeah. I ooh. I lubed on the the, but luckily it's water based, so it won't stain. That's awesome. Yeah, guys, if you're looking for a good Valentine's Day gift mm. for your lover, for your. For your lover. Yeah. I was what like, else? I was going to say brother, and I was so like, maybe lover, not. Your brother. <laughs> Get some lube, guys. It makes such a great gift, and it can really seal the deal. Yeah, it's perfect for Valentine's night. Day. Make sure you use our promo code TB15 to get 15% off your order. Sex is better when it's wetter. Whoa. Let's get back into the show. This is what root. This is not what I, <laughs> this is not what I wanted for, for Black, Black History, History Month. Month. I did not want to upset our Ethiopian following. Oh, honey, cut me off a piece of that samosa because I need. A, I need a palate cleanser. You know it's bad when the lentil samosa is <laughs> a palate cleanser. I'm not going to front right now. I definitely just got some Ethiopian spice in my eye, and it's burning. <laughs> that sounds like a band, Ethiopian spice in my eye. What's up? I'm Ethiopian spice, and it's in my eye. It's burning. I feel bad. To be honest, I don't even love this. I don't Did you like just put anything. it back? I don't like anything. I gotta be honest. McKenna? <laughs> McKenna? <laughs> Get this out. Get it out of our face. It's the worst. Oh, that was not what I expected from a mukbang. Well, thanks for that. I'm picking the next one. 
dessert you know what? Today? <laughs> no, just they had no dessert on the menu. <laughs> Surprise! <laughs> of course they didn't, <laughs> dude. Oh, the dessert comes in that bread too. Oh, dude, that Look, was. I straight up do have a spice in my. You're eye. gonna be upset when I tell you how much that was. I already know, and I am upset. I thought about it immediately <laughs> after I tried everything. <laughs> I said, you know what? Let's just take seventy dollars and flush it down the toilet each, babe. It's oh, it's only fifty each because originally I was getting us a bunch of Puerto Rican food, and it was that would have been and it was bomb, so dude. much. And we might, and I'm gonna hit up this Puerto Rican restaurant because they don't deliver here. But when I have my car, I can go pick up the food and bring it. But I had to cancel it, and then I said, "What can we get a bunch of that we both have never tried?" And Ethiopian came up. You know, can I tell you? Yeah. I have friends that say Ethiopian food's their favorite food. Yeah, me too. So I was like, okay, I'm going to be open-minded here. Yeah. But then when I saw the flesh-like bread substance that was in everything, I don't know why I'm opening up my silverware. It wasn't for me. No, would not seek an Ethiopian restaurant. That was the fir- that was one, the quickest mukbang alive. <laughs> We're- well... That was like we ate like a fucking a packet of ramen. We split it. <laughs> we were in and out. I mean, I, there is not much to to say. I didn't want to live next to that thing that looked like afterbirth for much longer. I got to be honest. Like, how do you feel knowing that we've lost all of our Ethiopian fans? I think maybe... Maybe we made more Ethiopian fans. Maybe they're like, yeah, dude, our food sucks. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. They're like, somebody (laughs) needed to address it. Do you think they know or they're into it? I think that if they had like a BLT, their minds would be blown. Dude, a simple (laughs) BLT (laughs) might kill an Ethiopian. (laughs) It might be too much flavor. (laughs) It it was just, there's something... It's Ain't just, right. It's not. I don't think it's the flavor <laughs> profile that we like. That's a nice way to say that, right? Yeah, that's a nice. That's a way lot to of like it, you fucking hated it. Yeah, when I when that one that I saw you bite the last the last one I can't even think about. It was so bad. By the time we got back to the samosa, I was over, over the samosa. I was over it because the samosa wasn't that good. But after we had the first thing, it was a vacation. It made me want like it made me want to hanker down and have a good old American meal. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I might get a hamburger and I a might milkshake. Go to Carnies and go get a fucking chili cheeseburger after this. Oh, that'll do. <laughs> that'll do, Ethiopia. <laughs> that'll do, Ethiopia. I mean, yeah, we tried it. We were open minded. One thing about us is we're open minded. We're basically like Anthony Bourdain. Yeah, bring it. We'll try it. <laughs> How do you think Bourdain would have reacted? I don't think Bourdain would have liked that. No? I don't know. He might... I feel like Bourdain would also have, like, a beer with it. Is there any videos of Anthony Bourdain eating Ethiopian Ethiopian food? food? I'd like to see his reaction. Let's see. Anthony Bourdain. Here he goes. Oh, he went to Ethiopia. And I think my job's hard. Now I feel bad I don't like the food. Why? Because the kids are so cute? Yeah, it's like... (laughs) Yeah, you think he he's got the bread, the skin oh, bread shit. too. He's got skin bread. We had that. But we are Anthony Bourdain. <laughs> Call me Annie Bourdain, baby. Shanky Bourdain. Yeah, you're supposed to feed each other. We forgot to do that. That would be so gay of us. Okay. Not mama and mommy feeding each other the skin of our baby. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. We he ate the same thing as us. He seemed to enjoy it. Are we not cultured? He's he's putting on an act, sweetie. Oh, he is. That's he's an episode to, right uh, there in the bank. Yeah, you're right. You're not gonna go to Ethiopia and be like, this sucks. Yeah, you're you right. You can't do that. No, he's just choking it down. He's like, oh yeah, and Jira bread. <laughs> When's the last time you've had to choke something down in front of someone that you didn't like? Just now. <laughs> no, but you were out outwardly saying you didn't like it. Ham loaf. When I was a kid. Really? Yeah. Oh, my God. I can't even think about it. I went to my neighbor's house when I was a kid, and they made us ham loaf. And it was ham? It's like meatloaf, but ham. Oh. And it's like, and they gave us ham loaf and a glass of milk. Oh. And it was, I can't even look at it. I hated the way it tastes. I don't like meatloaf, and I don't definitely don't like ham loaf. And I remember I was staying at the my neighbor's house because my parents went out of town. So mm-hmm. for like three days, 
they were our, the people whose house we'd stay at, mm-hmm. and they made us ham loaf, and they would we would pray before, mm-hmm. and then we'd have to eat all of the ham loaf if we wanted dessert, and it was disgusting. Was it worth the dessert? No. Did you try for the dessert? I tried for the dessert. I couldn't get down the ham loaf. Oh no! It was like were you was, gagging it yeah. up? Yeah, I was like, Ugh. I've had a situation like that probably four years ago. I was dating a guy, and his parents were usually really good at cooking, and his dad tried to make this. I think to impress me, like Puerto Rican no. dish. And it was so bad. It was just like it's it seemed like the, whatever the 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 vegetable he used was rotten that he used and he didn't realize it. And I was just like choking it. Like literally you could hear my swallows like <clears throat> like I was like <sighs> I was taking the biggest bites and just trying to get as much down as I could so I could be like, I'm stuffed actually. And it's it's hard. It's hard to fake a good meal. I'm glad we weren't with an Ethiopian while we were eating this. Yeah. That would have been hard. We wouldn't be able to act out the way we just did. No, we wouldn't have. We would have said, like, oh, it was delicious. What's the bread called? Injera bread. Injera. Give me some more injera, baby. Oh, yeah. I could use a little more injera. <laughs> yum, yum, yum. Oh, man. What oh. about, didn't you go on a date with a guy who didn't like the sushi you were eating? Can we talk about that? (laughs) (laughs) I think I've heard this story off camera. (laughs) I didn't go on a date. Okay. I got... This is going to be hard because I think... I don't know if I should talk. I think the guy watches this podcast and he's a comic. Okay, so let's uh, switch subjects. (laughs) But now it's so... Now everybody wants to know. I did go and get sushi with a guy who I assume... You know, if he's listening to this, he should know that I know. And I think it's hilarious. And I, I still think he's a very cool guy. But he what, he I was going to get sushi with my friend, Ryan Sickler. And I was like, let's go get sushi because that's like what we do. Me, you and Sickler. And mm-hmm. I know Emily gets sushi with Sickler. And he was like, I can't today. And that guy was like, I can. And I was like, okay, cool. Let's go get sushi. And I don't know if he was trying to hang out and like hit on me. That seemed like it. Uh-huh. Because when we were getting sushi, it became very clear that he is, it's real sushi. It's like fish on rice, you know? And it became very clear that he does not like sushi. And he was like gagging it down. <laughs> when I would like turn away, I'd look back and he'd be like, <laughs> 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 and dude, my ass was like, I was trying to not embarrass him, so I didn't say anything, but I was like, I could tell he doesn't like the sushi, but I was also really, I love the sushi there, and I could eat it all day, and I was too embarrassed to tell him that I wanted his portion, (laughs) so it was both of us just being like, he pretended he didn't like it, and I pretended I didn't want it. He pretended like he liked it. Yeah, and I pretended like I didn't want his portion. At the end, he put it in a to-go box and took it home, and I wanted to be like, give it to me, I know you're going to toss it, (laughs) but I didn't. That's wild. Yeah. People are wild. Watching a grown man gag on sushi. Gag on sushi. Hey, every once in a while you gag on a little shashim, you know? <laughs> Gagging on shashim. Oh, yeah. You try to deep throat a, a, a fucking... California roll? Yeah. I was going to say a scallion, but what am I... <laughs> a scallop. Mm. You can't deep throat a scallion. I mean, you could. I but... could. <laughs> Watch me. <laughs> I pull out a scallion. Scallions on my moderate food allergy list, so I will not be deep throating. Have you been following that still? Until right now, just now. I've been pretty good. Really? Yeah. On all your moderates? Yeah. I've been really making an effort for the most part. How not, do you feel? A lot better. When really? I eat something that's on the moderate, I feel it. Like, I ate something. But she's very susceptible to placebo. I will tell you this. <clears throat> she is. Sarah, you I'm telling you, I, my body physically feels better. I remember I don't one eat the time things Sarah that I'm told me to. she Crazy. literally likes oat milk more than regular milk. And then one time our coffees got confused and she accidentally drank mine. And she said, my coffee's really good today. Yeah, I'm telling you, it was better. But I do. Pre- <laughs> my stomach prefers oat milk. Over- you know what I like? Huh? You know. Goat milk. Goat milk. Goat milk. Goat in the end. I wish I had some right now. Ugh. But okay, so uh, you know what? I think that it's time to bring in one of our newest segments. Right. What Whoa. are we going to call it? <sighs> On this day in history. On this day in history. George Washington. <laughs> <laughs> Abe Lincoln. <laughs> I just said George Washington. So th- this, this one <clears throat> I found was really random, but it's supposed to be like the biggest one. Okay, February 29th, voting... 
voting begun on Bosnian independence. Wow. Yeah, but th- this one I feel like goes into black. <laughs> <laughs> not Kim reading this the headline. Not delicious knowing what no Ethiopian <laughs> food. <laughs> oh no, that's a juicy thing. Can we see what food holiday it is? Maybe Can we Google where Bosnia is. <laughs> <laughs> Please. Can we see if the, today's a food holiday? <laughs> what? Can we see if today is like National Cupcake Day. Well, let's day? get into the thing we were doing first. Let's finish I, that. Okay, look. Weren't you pulling it up, we or were? was that it? No, no that, this I had a bunch of them, but I, the the one that stood out to me was was this one. Uh, the the la- lady from Gone with the Wind. She got her first Oscar. It is the first time a black woman got an Oscar. Hell yeah! Oh. Why does my audio cutting out? That 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 cord right there is going to look finicky. I think they're going to fix it next week. Okay. I'm sorry. Can I, can I borrow these? Or yeah. Something? Now it's fine. Oh, is it? Yeah. Okay. I'm just going to kind of... Like... You know what? This episode's off the rails. Yeah, it is. I'm happy with her. I've never seen Gone with the Wind. Have you? Mm, yes, I have. When What's I it was, about? I don't remember. I just remember there's lots of fancy outfits. Like, isn't that Scarlett O'Hara's in Gone with the Wind? Can right? we click on Gone with the Wind? When I was a kid, I would watch it because the outfits. Let's see with Gone, Gone with the Wind. No, click on lots Gone of, like, with the Wind. Lots of, like, crazy dresses. I want to see what it's about. Because I've heard about it. It sounds like a classic, like The Sound of Music. It is. She seems like a badass because I guess... I like, it was about a horse. They, they like wouldn't allow her into the theater where they premiered the movie. <gasps> and then she still won the Oscar. And That's then she was like, sick. I play a maid. I don't, I don't have to be one. And then just like, she had like a good attitude about it. Wow. That's see, so... and you're angry about a little Facebook post. It was YouTube. Oh, no. There's a difference between YouTube and Facebook, honey. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Hate to break it to you, boomer. <laughs> Not the boomer comment. McDaniel experience. Wait. Gone with the Wind. Wait, can we look up what Gone with the Wind? Yeah. Okay. Film released in 1939. Best known and most successful films of all time. Enjoyed a more than 30 year reign. God damn. I used to be obsessed with watching it when I was a little girl because they would wear really fancy dresses. That's all I remember. The film set in the American South during the time of the Civil War tells the story of Scarlett O'Hara. Can you go down a little? The headstrong and willful daughter of the owner of the plantation, Tara. The story begins in 1861. Scarlett is in love with Ashley. Is it a lesbian story? Ashley Wilkes. But she learns that he, oh, Ashley's a guy. See, back then they used to name guys, girls' names. Ashley, Samantha. Samantha? I think I gotta so. go. I gotta blow Samantha. I'll call you back. <laughs> <laughs> Samantha just took out his schlong. Can I call you back? <laughs> What I gotta are you go. Talking about? I gotta go. First of all, <laughs> to say out loud, I gotta go blow Samantha is already <laughs> insane. <laughs> if any other male name would be insane to say, but Samantha hit. Um. Okay. So she. Uh, I don't know what this is about. Listen. Let's just look at the outfits. Can we click on Scarlett O'Hara's dress? Yeah, for sure. That's what, that's what I care about, really. But that's awesome that she won that Oscar. And that's perfect. It ties in Black History Month. We yeah. couldn't have asked for a better one, now, actually. Now we're forgiven for Ethiopian food gate. Yeah, the skin bread, not for us. Do you still taste it? Ooh, the outfits are hitting. The outfits are all like over the top like that. Oh, I like that red one. Yes, that's the one I remember the most. That one hits. That I want to be the, in that. Yes, it was this fucking red dress when I was a little girl. I just remember watching that dress being like, I need that. Yeah, that's a good dress. Do you remember when Casper became a real boy and he said, what did he whisper in, in Christina Ricci's ear? Don't remember. Oh, what did he whisper in Christina Ricci's ear? Boo. Hold on. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> no boo. No, he said. Oh, yeah. He said this. They were slow dancing. He said, can I keep you? Yeah, That's I do cute. remember that now. You remember that? Yeah. And I, <laughs> something tingled deep in my bladder. It just tingled in mine, too. Yeah. Can I keep you? I think he follows me. Real Casper. Wait, what? Yeah. The voice of Casper is following you? The boy that played Casper. Okay. Is he a man now? Yeah. <laughs> oh, he's a man. Is he hot? He's, 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 will always be hot. I don't have service, but yeah. Yeah. Oh, there he is. Okay, That's what he I said keep... when I keep, and I keep you. Oh, it's Devin Sawa? Yeah. Oh, yeah. He's hot. Yeah. Wow. That's him. Can I keep you? It could also be a little scary. Yeah, it could, but it wasn't. 
Can I? Can I keep you? Well, he has a long neck. And the my, kid's got a neck my, on him. Uh, people in my family have like this theory that people with long necks are nicer than people with short necks. I, Why? I, don't, I have no idea. How's my neck? Have you ever heard that? I've never. Does even... my neck look exceptionally long right now? <laughs> no, you're a little short today. <laughs> There's a little anger in your neck today, my sister. <laughs> I will say in our cartoon, your neck is longer than mine. In our logo. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> I got a longer neck, bitch. Damn. Some people care about bigger tits, not me. It's all, it's all about having the I'm going to have to go home and fucking... Stretch it? Jelk my neck. Oh, I'm a nice person. Do you know what jelking is? No. It's when dudes stretch their own dick out to make it bigger. They just stretch the skin and then just blood has to fill it up. <laughs> yeah, you can. They just yank on it all day until it gets a little longer. This episode has been a lot. Well, have, have you ever seen stuff like this? Oh God, that lady looks so nice. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see that neck on that bitch? <laughs> what is she a saint? <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness, God. that looks painful. Imagine letting go. Imagine cutting the rings off your head. Well, maybe it would feel like a nice I, I stretch. I think it is like that. Like I think after you do that, you gotta you gotta keep them on. No, or your head that falls off. That would make off. me claustrophobic. It's oh, imagine the smell. But in there. I wonder, ew, not the smell of the it, neck brace. Oh, uh, you know that don't smell good. No offense. I feel like I'm offending multiple cultures. You today. are. <laughs> but the smell in there must be crazy. Look at the lady on the left. Oh, up, up, the, yep, her. But what's Okay, does that feel good? Do you think it stretches your neck? Everybody here looks pretty happy. No, I don't think it feels good. I think it probably hurts, and it's a sort of sacrifice. They're called pod dong neck rings. What what do they do? Remove death. Click on that. Related searches. Pod dong on the left. Yeah. Down. No, no, no. Back. Remove death. Removed death. Oh, yeah, so it looks like oh. it, it's, it's like elongating, elongating their neck. Oh, God. I do need a little crack like that, though. <gasps> oh, hers are off. What? Her look. neck looks great. <laughs> <laughs> you like that look? I like. Oh, yeah. look at the bottom on the left. Is that real? Oh, my, oh my God. God. No. No. I, I want to wrap the skin bread around that. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> wrap the skin a bit around I, it so we don't have to look at it. That made me absolutely. Oh my god, I'm dizzy from seeing that. I'm dizzy from the whole episode. I'll tell you that. This was a doozy. It wasn't easy to do this episode. It took a lot out of me emotionally, physically, spiritually, spiritually, and financially. <laughs> financially. Financially. I'm gonna need you to Venmo me fifty bucks. Uh, no, nah, I'll do it. <laughs> Uh, I can't wait to pay for that skin bread. Dude, we could have eaten that sugar fish today. Don't bring that into we it. We could have had a sugar fish lunch. Now for I'm skin. mad. I flip over the table. You should have told me you were going to get $100 worth of Ethiopian food. I thought it was going to be good. It looks good. Does it? Yes. Does it? Uh. <laughs> That's our episode. Guys, thanks for watching. Sarah, where can people find you? At Princess Shank, Instagram, Twitter, patreon.com slash Sarah Wine Shank. You know what it is. You can find me Whoa. here. <laughs> yeah, I say you know what now. it is now. <laughs> you can find me here every Monday on this bitch, every Wednesday on Shank. Guys, a reminder, this bitch and friend show, March 14th, the Comedy Store, 1030 Main Room. It will sell out. The show has sold out every month we've done it. It's a fire lineup. It's me, Kimmy, Josh Potter, Ryan Sickler, Ali McCoskey, Ian Edwards, Greg Fitzsimmons. Woo! And then also that lineup's crazy. And then we're gonna be at uh, Houston Riot Fest the first weekend of April. Mm -hmm. We're headlining and doing this bitch live there. Yep. And then we have on what is it? April eighteenth, this bitch and friends, all female lineup. It's fire. It's me, Kim, Whitney Cummings, Annie Lederman. Who else? Jetski, Jetski, Beth Stelling, and Beth Stelling. It's such a good show. Such a good show. And then um, May seventh, this bitch podcast live at the Comedy Store for Netflix is a joke fest. Mm -hmm. That's gonna be so fun. Hell yeah! Um, at Princess Shank for more dates and all of that. We're also coming to DC in November at DC Comedy. Oh yeah, Loft. we are. I'm yeah. excited about yeah, that. Yeah, that's gonna be fun. That's a while away, but get tickets now. Have them ready. Yep. Um. Yeah. 
watched all those shows. I'm not basically on all the same shows as Sarah right now. And um, check out patreon.com slash Kim Congdon. Um, and check out my podcast, The Kim Congdon Takeover, anywhere oh, you find yeah. podcasts. And please check out my special, Childless Milf, on YouTube. You guys have been supportive and it's doing really well and I'm so happy. So uh, please, if you've watched it, go click on it again. Watch it again. Let it run through and uh, share it with a friend. Hell yeah. <laughs> and we'll see you next week. Yep. Also, we're coming to Skank Fest. Skank Fest. Woo! We'll see you there. Bye. Bye. Thank you.